Hello guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be giving you guys a very colorful makeup tutorial. Can you see by the look of my eyes? It's very colorful. We're cutting the crease, we're doing a ton of blending, and we're playing with the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. But I really was so inspired with the colors and I was kind of stumped on what to do. Of everything, so I was searching on YouTube just videos for inspiration, and I came across this girl named Taylor Graham. Inspiration today, I'm doing a recreation of her look. Okay, guys, so if you don't know I Love Sarahi, then let me catch you up. Karen is this amazing makeup artist, and she's been doing this for years and years. I think she's a huge inspiration, and I wanted to try out one of her tutorials with you guys today. So here we are. So the first shade I'm going to go in with is Hot Mess, and this is a deep burgundy matte shade that I'm going to take starting in my crease and then connecting it all the way to the inner corner of my eye. And it's important because the shade is pretty dark to start off with just a little bit, build it up, and then blend versus starting out with a lot, trying to blend that out, and then it's a mess. You know what I mean? So next I'm tapping into Utopia, which is a matte peach shade. And this one I'm pretty much just going to hit over Hot Mess. It's kind of just going over the shade, but also like mainly focusing this on the outer part of the eye. I'm going to go ahead and apply my P. Louise base onto my eyelid. So as you guys can see, the base is on my lid and I'm now taking in that brush and slightly moving it to the inner corner of my eye and going in slow motions, tapping it up and cutting it. You don't really have to drag the brush. If you do, you won't be able to get the precise line you want unless you've got the perfect lid. But in my case, I have to kind of fake my lid. I have to make it a little bigger than it really is. So for that reason, I take my time by pressing and working my way up, rounding at my eye and then extending it to the crease. And then in between, as I cut, I also press in the lid. So I'm like packing it on, moving it around, just kind of working with what I have on my eyelid without having to add any more product. So I actually haven't created a cut crease look in a very long time. So I'm taking my own sweet time right now doing it here. But the main thing is I'm actually using my NYX Born to Glow Concealer because I absolutely love it. And you guys have seen me use this concealer numerous times um, to conceal. But yeah, that's what I'm using here to cut my crease. I'm going to tap really quickly into two matte shades that were in the crease to begin with, which is Hot Mess and Moltrex. And I'm pretty much just going to tap over this area so that they are nicely blended. Some people like to do this after you do the lid, but I kind of just want to add it now. There we go for the cut. I'm not going to go ahead and apply the metallic shade on the lid. So I'm going to go in with these two shades, Ultraviolet and Nebula. So I'm going to go in first with Ultraviolet. And I'm going to be just kind of pressing that onto the lid area. I'm just going to press it on my eyelid. And then from there, I'm just going to go ahead and lightly work my way up. Not all the way to the top just yet, but just working it up, pressing it in there. I'm going to pack the particles onto the base. That is literally so pretty. It's stellar. And now with my MAC 228, it's like the babiest brush that I had, I'm going to go ahead and go in with ultraviolet and pressing it as close as I can to the crease. I want to make sure that my line is nice and sharp. That looks so pretty. And then now I'm going to go in with the shade Nebula, which is a little bit more of like a pressed glitter shadow. And I'm gonna use my finger for this and just press this over my lid. Oh my God, this is so, so pretty. I'm gonna go in with one last glitter product. This is almost like between a silver and a purple. Kind of looks like a nebula with a little bit more silver, but it's perfect for this because we're not really using too much of it. We're just literally dragging a little bit of it on. For this look, Karen didn't actually use eyeliner, but I decided I wanted to, so I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, and I'm just winging it out. Alright, so next I'm going to move into my lashes. And for my lashes, you know I'm using the Kiss Product Lashes in number 11. Next up, I am going to go ahead and do my base. So 
sure you guys have seen me do this countless number of times, but I'll be sure to put all the products used in the description below. So I'm going to tap back into Hot Mess and Vortex and apply this underneath of the eyes. Really, really going to go in on it, smoke it the F out. I'm going to be adding blue. I'm so excited. So I think as soon as the pop of blue went in the inner corner, that's when I really felt this look came together. And I was actually pretty happy with it. Um, and then I, of course, forgot to put concealer, so that's what we're going to do now. <laughs> Lastly, I'm gonna complete this look with some lips and I'm trying out some new lippies from Anastasia Beverly Hills and from Sephora. Again, they will be listed in the description box below. Actually quite happy with how it turned out. Alright guys, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup. Okay guys, so, so I was hella skeptical about this. Um, I bought this palette back in December or something and I remember telling one of my friends, I was like, I don't know how to use the colors in this palette. Like it's very, very vibrant, very different, but that's why I purchased the palette because I was like, I want different colors and I want to be able to play around a lot more. Um, I'm extremely happy with this look. I think Karen did a fantastic job. Um, I think the girl before her created this look and did a wonderful job, but I am in love with this and I wish I wasn't just sitting at home. I wish I was actually going somewhere as we all do right now, but with this face, people need to see. So, I'm so glad that like I filmed this look. So guys, that's it. That's the look. I dressed it up as if I was going to Coachella this year. Of course, it's now Coachella 2020. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you very soon. Take care. Yeah.